Hi beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me, I am Candace and I am so excited to be showing you all um, a new product that we have that's currently in lap, which means that it's still in development, but it's good enough for us to kind of start trying um, and they're still ironing out the kinks, I guess. But I got a chance and some customers have also had a chance to try them. Well, this is my very first try. So as you can see, I got a bit ahead of myself because I thought, oh, I've never tried these. And I didn't want to jump on and make a complete fool of myself trying to put these things on and fumbling around. But I really didn't have to worry because they went on like a dream, no problems. This entire hand, start to finish, took me four minutes. It's crazy. I'm actually very excited. I'm a wraps girl. I'm, you know, devout to that. But these things are awesome. I also do love gel. So I don't know. This is what would happen if gel and wraps had babies, I guess. So these are what they're looking like at the moment. Now this might change because as I said, they're in lab, but I wanted to come to you today because this is my very first application. Um, and I thought it was going to take a lot longer, which is why I did one hand first. Whoopsie daisy. I should have done the whole thing. So, um, yeah, this is them. At the moment, they sort of, if you have short nails, you'd be fine to get two full applications out of this. I don't, as you can see. So one pack will do one full mani application and have a couple of leftovers, um, to have a play with so I guess I'm gonna get started so all you kind of need is to prep your nails as usual so I have a nail prep wipe which I've already washed my hands down if you want to know how to prep your nails I have a video on that please go back through my YouTube um, channel and check out the video because I don't want to hold you all up too much um, you will need a buffer block that's just for prepping them you just need a Jamboree nail file or a glass nail file. I used, I used just my Jamboree one to start with and they came off fine. I will get to that. So um, yeah, just, just your file. And I found my little cuticle nippers are, were amazing. So they're the only things you need. You could do this anywhere. These are so crazy easy. You probably don't even need the nippers. You can use like little scissors or something or if you're lucky enough to have perfect size nails for these, you probably don't need that at all. So, but I'm gonna stop babbling and I'm gonna get started. So um, let's pop you down so you can kind of see, I might need to get you closer, sorry. I always do that, don't I? Sorry guys. Okay, so I wanna make you all aware that at the moment, as it stands right as of today, we do have a couple I think maybe one design left on the website. So if you want to see this and you want it absolutely today, we do have one design on the website as of today, I think. So you can either go to my website or go back to your consultant's website and um, check it out and get, it's not this design, but um, yeah. So all we do now, every instruction that I've seen of this, um, is people are taking them off just with their hands. So I'm gonna do it. I'm not touching the part that is going to attach to my nail at all. You can use a orange stick, which I recommend if you're gonna try and get one out of each, but I'm just gonna line it up. Now the cool thing about these is because you don't need to heat them and then press it down. You don't need to heat them at all. You actually can totally take your time. You don't need to rush, you don't need to stress. Uh, I'm also just gonna, now you don't really need to do this, but I I find, especially like, same as lacquer strips. So basically these are gonna go on like wraps that you don't heat. And guys, they're so thick. They're actually really beautiful. And you can kind of pull them and make sure, make sure they're attaching on the end. I didn't have any problems with these um, attaching at all. Um, you don't need to cut off the end. It's just because I'm doing a video and I don't want to look stupid like banging my fingers around. And that's it. That's the first one on nuts. Isn't that crazy? Did I just... <laughs> I just turned my rings around. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. So let's go on to finger number two. Do, do, do. Um, so just pop it down. 
I use that one here. Um, now I'm not using the dark. I don't know why. It's springtime. I didn't really want to use the dark. Now these are squared off at the bottom and I thought that was going to be an issue, but I don't mind it. I don't know whether that will change though going forward once they bring this out of lab and they get some feedback as to what people are thinking about them and any changes that they want made. So, but it doesn't seem to be causing me any issues. So, and I'm going to show you because a bit further up, what did I do? I did another stripe, so I'm going to do the same. Um, yeah, as I got a bit further up, <laughs> That feels gummy because I'm using the wrong hand. I really hope you can see this. Okay, so for this hand here, I reckon, yep. So for this hand here, this is just where I need to use the cuticle trimmer or your scissors or whatever. Um, these aren't like the lacquer strips. They're not gonna, oh look, my hands are shaking. Am I nervous? That's it's probably because this is brand new. And I'm just nipping off the tiniest bits. So just know at the moment, these products are coming with no instructions because they are still in lab. So then we just firmly, I'm applying them the same I would wraps except without the heating. And these are beautiful and thick, really easy to work with. Woohoo, bit exciting. Um, and I, you can, apply some force and pressure and like pull them around and make sure that they're really attached. I think people are going to love these. That's exciting. It's boring exciting. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm talking so weird. Sorry. That's a bit embarrassing. Okay. So I don't know whether it would, I probably should have brought a, um, a cuticle stick out with me, like an orange stick, sorry. And I don't know whether it would have been a lot easier to take it off the plastic if I had that. Probably. I tend to not make things... Oops, sorry guys. I tend to not make things too easy. Um, I'm just going to show you with this one. I, I haven't actually ever used the scissors to do this, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so I find the nippers a little bit easier, but... Scissors work fine. You can just trim them with the scissors, which is kind of cool. There we go. Get rid of that. Gonna get it everywhere. And now I'm just gonna push it down. They're really pretty, aren't they? Pretty. They're kind of like spring timey. So. I'm just giving them a bit of a pull at the end, a little bit like, well, actually, I usually don't have to pull on my wraps, but because I want to make sure these are fully adhered because, of course, they have no heating and then you just, wow, they're just ready to go. It's crazy. Okay. And the last one. So when you get to your bigger nails, of course, this um, squared off base is so cool. Actually, I don't even think I need to nip that, but I'm just going to, nope, no, nope, it's not too close. Wow. They're nuts. I'm going to say that like it's a bad thing. No, they're nuts. They're like so easy, guys. Wowza. And they feel really nice. They've got that gel, um, that gel, that really super silky gel um, feel to them which is gorgeous now I'm just doing a quick check to make sure that they are all pushed down um, I feel like I'm missing a step but I don't believe I am okay so um, now I'm just gonna go through and file them off straight down actually I might do the next one with the glass nail file and see whether that if I like the finish of that better because I did the other hand oh look that's already come off it's just curled underneath like my wraps um let's try it with the glass I don't know mm, I think I like that <laughs> it's always the 
funkiest noise your glass nail file makes. Okay, so that works just as well. Um, I would probably, I would definitely go over all of them with my glass nail file. Um, I'm assuming, or I'm, I'm not too sure whether the glass nail file is going to have, with wraps, the glass nail file really helps them um, create that bond right on the tip. So I'm assuming with the gel strips it would be the same. Oh, that, that fell off a while ago, I think. That's just almost done. Oh boy, guys, like this is, it's like 10 minute mani. Wow. It's like lacquer strips, I guess, without the lacquer strips, I um, are a little bit thinner than this. So I find that the, I really like the, the, um, the texture or the consistency. I don't know what you want to call it. Pliability, the durability. They, yeah, they feel super durable. They, they feel like when you're filing them. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, it feels like when you're filing them. I'm just going to hit these with the... Because I feel like I need to do something else with them. <laughs> That's nuts. Wow. Okay. And ooh, there's just a little bit of strip on there. Wait, no. Pop you up. Hi, I'm gonna pop you up a little bit higher. There we go. So I can see you. Hi. Oh my gosh. So quick, crazy quick. And that's it. I was going back over these, going, well, it feels like you're missing a step. I probably I found that a little bit with um lacquer strips as well, but because they were lacquer and I had heard so much about them. I was sort of expecting that, but because these are gel they do, and they're strips, they don't need to be cured. Um, they come in this little slip packet, right? Like this, um, inside your little strip. At the moment, this is how they're coming and they're not gonna dry out, guys. So like, look at what I've got left. I actually have, oh, get rid of that. I actually have like enough for, if I'm willing to cut them down, which, I am, because that's me. Um, I have enough for a mani there. I just need to trim them down and they're so easy to cut down. So, wowza, I'm impressed. They look great. They feel really beautiful. There's no lifting at the end. They're very pliable, like, um, like your, they're a bit thicker like your wraps. So they, they feel like they can take a lot more tugging. So I guess if you're, um, if you like lacquer strips, you've got really those sort of domed nails, but you feel like you need to give them a little bit more than um, a little bit more tough when you're applying them, then these would be perfect. So um, I'm excited to see how long they last. So aren't they gorgeous? So that's it. That's, that's gel strips. They're that easy. I can't wait to see what's coming. Um, if you want to check out the one design that we have as of today on the website, please um, either contact your Jamboree consultant. And if you don't have one, you can head to my website, benau.com backslash love wrapped, blah, blah, backslash love wrapped and, um, and check them out. Please feel free to ask me any questions. Hopefully we're going to get some more soon because Oh, watch out. They're so pretty and they're so easy and they don't dry out. So, uh oh, okay. That's it from me. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe to my um, YouTube channel if you'd like to see more Jamboree and more uh, manicure inspiration. I'm popping up uh, weekly videos at this stage. Um, and be sure to come check me out on Facebook as well. If you're not in my VIP group and you don't already have a Jamboree VIP group, then come check me out at um, Love Wrap VIPs. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.